getting y'all excited yep. today. During the Big 12 tournament, the competition's not just on the court, it is also in the barbecue pit. I mean, we are in Kansas City. Hello, pit masters in the Big 12 Big Q competition. Up early with 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan outside the Sprint Center. Charlie, describe the smell where you're yeah. standing, please, for us. It is heavenly is one way to describe it, uh, Taylor and Lindsay. Yeah, we're getting all the aromas of the different, uh, uh, you know, meats and the different charcoals and woods all mixing together here. But I want to introduce you the main star of the show this morning. This is Johnny Trigg. He's with the Smoke and Triggers barbecue team, a national barbecue hall of famer. And the guy down there just called you the godfather of barbecue. How do you feel about that? Oh, I, I love it right there. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes, sir. Well, very cool. So here, real quick, while we're standing right here, show us what you put on the grill just about five minutes okay. ago. Okay. What do you have here? I had there, I put beef brisket on here. Beef brisket? About five minutes ago. All yes. right. So right tell there. us about this brisket. What do you put on there as far as seasoning goes and, and whatnot? I use, I use the dry rubs right there and uh, various different spices in it. And I, I don't mind telling you right there, but after I, after I tell you, I have to shoot you. <laughs> well, then don't tell me, all right? <laughs> that's how they do it in Alvarado, Texas. That's where uh, Johnny's coming from here. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about the Big 12, Big Q competition, because you guys are representing a team that's playing in the in the tournament, right? Yes, sir. We I represent the University of Texas. All right. Unfortunately, I didn't do a good enough job last night. Let the Kansas beat us. Right yeah, there. exactly. You're giving us the home. So the home Texas. Court that, so I'm going to pick up the slack today and win this contest. It's picking up the slack today. So you're making four different categories, presenting all this meat to the judges around one o'clock this afternoon, yes. right? Yes, and, right. And what's the winner get? The winner gets uh, cash prizes and we're oh. right there. All right. It's to be determined right there. Right. It's a nice check. And then ultimate bragging rights, too. I mean, that, this is more important than the basketball in your eyes. Oh, yes, you're right, you're right. <laughs> and so the pressure's on me since Texas got beat last night by the, right. by the local team here. Yeah, so now you uh, got to represent for those Longhorns. There you go. Tell us how long you can keep that brisket on the, on the grill. How long does it take? It'll take about six and a half, seven hours. Wow. It'll, be a, it'll melt in your mouth. Fantastic. Right. It'll melt in the judges' mouths. All this food is going to judging only. They're not going to be giving it out to the public, so don't come lining up looking for anything. Said the line be three blocks long if he did that. But uh, definitely smells good. And now you don't know, how do I sign up to be a judge, right, Lindsay and Taylor? Right. That's the pain of being in Kansas City about these competitions. It's Man. not for you. Yeah. <laughs> We're really right. glad that you yeah, like our exactly. food, but go someplace else. We're giving it to somebody that's going to pay us to make That's it. a big brisket. From one Texan to another, tell him he's doing great. I, I love that. Thanks so, so much, Charlie. Next